Good morning or good afternoon class. After learning about order of operations in the last video, now we are gonna have a chance to practice. So here are six problems that you guys, I want you guys to write them down in your notebook so you can try them out and then we'll see if you got the right answer. So go ahead and pause the video and write the problems down. Okay, so hopefully you guys wrote them down and gave them a shot. Now we're gonna work them out. So remember that order of operations means the order in which you're going to do these problems. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, PEMDAS, order of operations, whatever you remember it as is the order in which we're going to do these problems. So every time I do a problem that has to do with order of operations, I write this down on my paper to remember the order and help myself. So let's look at number one. I always check I always check the list and I go down the list checking things as I go. So first thing, PEMDA, I mean PEMDA, parentheses. There's no parentheses, we check it off. Exponents, no exponents. Multiplication, no. Nope. Division, no. Nope. Addition and subtraction, that's what we have in this problem. Now, remember that addition and subtraction go together as a pair and you work them out from left to right. Same thing for multiplication and division. They are a pair, so you work them out from left to right. Um, multiplication and division are always going to be more important than addition and subtraction, but when you have these two in a problem together or these two in a problem together, you're going to work those out from left to right. So for example, in number one, we have subtraction and addition, and even though addition is on top of subtraction, we're going to do subtraction first because we're going from left to right, as if you were reading a book. So 5 minus 3 gives us 2, and 2 plus 4 gives us 6. So 6 is the answer. Now we move on to number 2, and we see that we go down the list, and we see that we only have addition and multiplication. Now, even though I said left to right, that's only if it's both addition and subtraction, or multiplication and division. Here we have addition and multiplication. So multiplication is always going to be more important than addition and subtraction. So we have to do the multiplication first. We have 2 times 3 gives us 6. 5 plus 6 gives us 11. So that's our answer for number 2. On number 3, we go down the list and we see that we only have division, subtraction, and addition. Now, if we look at the list, what, what would go first? Division would go first because division is always going to be more important than subtraction and addition. So we take care of the division. We get 3 divided by 3 is 1, and we rewrite the problem. Now we only have subtraction and addition. So we go from left to right. 9 minus 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So this is your answer for number 3. And when the problems start to get longer, you have to remember the rules of order of operations. So we go down the list. Do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? Yes, we have an exponent right here. It's 3 squared. And remember that 3 squared just means 3 times 3. So 3 squared is 9, and we write down the rest of the problem. Now we see that we're left with addition and division. And division is always more important than addition, so we do that first. 9 divided by 9 is 1. And we get 7 is our answer. On number five, we go down the list. Do we have parentheses? In number five, we do have parentheses. It's right here. Five minus two is in parentheses, so we have to do that one first. Five minus two is three, and we rewrite the whole problem. Now we move down, and we see exponents. Do we have an exponent here? 
we have this 3 squared. Remember, 3 squared is just 3 times 3, so we get 9 divided by 3 minus 1. Now we're only left with division and subtraction. And division always goes before addition and subtraction, so we have to do the division first. 9 divided by 3 is 3 minus 1 equals 4. So 4 is your answer for number 5. Now on this, sorry, 2. Had a little brain fart there. 3 minus 1 is 2, not 4. I added instead of subtracted. See, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you catch them and correct yourself. On number 6, we check to see if we have any parentheses. And we do. We have 6 minus 2 in parentheses. So 6 minus 2 is 4. We rewrite the whole problem. And now we check to see if we have any exponents. We have 4 squared right here, which is 16. We write the whole problem. Now we see that we have addition, division, and subtraction. The division goes first. 16 divided by 4 is 4. We write the problem again. We have addition and subtraction, so we go from left to right. 10 plus 4 is 14, minus 4 equals 10. So 10 is your answer for that last problem. And with enough practice, you guys will start to get good at these. So I hope this helped and that you got the answers right. Thank you for watching. All right, good morning or good afternoon class. Today we're gonna do uh, six practice problems on order of operations. If you may, uh, copy these six uh, problems down uh, and then give them a shot uh, and just get some practice down and hopefully you get them right. We're gonna go over them uh, in a bit. All right, so hopefully you guys copied the six problems down and you guys gave them a shot. Hopefully they, you got them correct, but if you guys didn't, it's okay. Uh, it's a learning experience, so more practice, uh, you'll get better at it. So we're going to go over the first problem. Uh, PEMDAS, you guys want to write this on top of your paper. It could be helpful. P-E-M-D-A-S. Um, let's do number one. 5 minus 3 plus 4. Do we see any parentheses? No. Do we see any exponents? No. Multiplication and division? No. You see addition and subtraction? Yes, we have this uh, subtraction and addition. So you're working from left to right. If this 5 minus 3, you get 2. Bring down the plus 4, you get 2 plus 4, you get the answer of 6. All right, pretty simple enough. Um, number 2, 5 plus 2 times 3. Do we have parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have multiplication and division? We have multiplication right here, so that will take priority. This 2 times 3, you do that first. 2 times 3 is 6. You write down the rest of the problem. You're, you end up with 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6, you get the answer of 11. All right, hope you guys got that one. Uh, number 3, you have 9 minus 3 divided by 3 plus 2. All right, do we have any parentheses in this problem? No. Do we have exponents? No. Multiplication and division, we have this 3 divided by 3 right here. So we're going to do that first. 3 divided by 3, 1. Now you do the red, rewrite the rest of the problem. You have 9 minus 1 plus 2. Now we'll go on to the next step, addition and subtraction. Uh, now you're working from left to right. 9 minus 1 is 8. Write the rest of the problem. You have 8 plus 2, and you get the answer of 10. Hopefully you guys got that one correct as well. Next one, number 4. 6 plus 3 squared divided by 9. Remember, uh, 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3. It's not 3 times 2, but 3 times 3. You're multiplying it by itself. So do we have any parentheses? Uh, no. Do we have any exponents? We have this 3 squared right here, so we're going to do that first. 3 times 3 is 9. That's what 3 squared means. Write the rest of the problem, 6 plus 9 divided by 9. All right, do we have any more exponents? No. Do we have multiplication and division? We have this division problem right here. We have this 9 divided by 9. So we do that. We have 6. 9 divided by 9 is 1. Right there. So now, uh, 
Do we have any more division left? Multiplication division? No. So we have addition and subtraction right here. The 6 plus 1, you get the answer of 7. Next problem, number 5. We have 3 squared divided by, in parentheses, 5 minus 2 minus 1. All right. Do we have any parentheses in this problem? We have one right here. 5 minus 2 is 3. Now you write, rewrite the rest of the problem. Any more parentheses present? No. Do we have any exponents present? We have 3 squared right here. As before, 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. We, 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 we rewrite the rest of the problem. 9 divided by 3 minus 1. Do we have any multiplication and division present in the problem? Yes, we have this 9 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then, yeah, minus 1, we write the rest of the problem. Now, addition and subtraction is what is left. Subtraction, 3 minus 1, is 2. Now, for the final problem, it's kind of a longer problem, number 6. Um, just do the same thing, follow the list of PEMDOS. Do we have any parentheses present? Yes, we have it right here. We have the 6 minus 2 in the parentheses. So 6 minus 2 is going to give you 4. We rewrite the rest of the problem. This exponent right here of 2 goes to the 4 because it, it was in the parentheses. Now it belongs to the 4. We rewrite the rest of the problem. All right, do we have any more parentheses present? No. Do we have any exponents present? We have this 4 squared right here. Don't do 4 times 2, because it's not 8. You do 4 times 4. You're multiplying it by itself. 4 times 4 is 16. I rewrite the rest of the problem. Now, do we have any multiplication or division present in the problem? Yes, we have this 16 divided by 4 because that would take priority over this addition and subtraction. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Rewrite the rest of the problem. Now you have 10 plus 4 minus 4. Now you have addition and subtraction, you're just working from left to right. 10 plus 4 is 14. Rewrite it. 14 minus 4 gives you the answer of 10. That is the final answer of the final practice problem. Well, I hope you guys understood these practice problems. Hope you got most of them correctly. Uh, most hope you did them correctly and hope you got them right and you know these problems are a bit longer so i understand if it takes you quite a bit of time but you know with more practice you'll get much faster at them and hopefully you understood the concept because you're going to need this in the future thank you